hi guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect chin chin very crunchy soft that chin chin that melts in your mouth so if you're planning on starting a small scale business or making this for the home then this recipe is for you so keep watching please do not forget to like subscribe and share all right so to begin with you want to grab yourself some flour and for this recipe, I'm going to be using 2 kg of all-purpose flour. So into my bowl, I'm going to go ahead and sift the flour into the bowl. So sifting the flour is going to help you achieve that smooth and very fine chin chin, okay? So that's the reason you need to sift your flour. Alright, so to my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for the love and support. And if you're a new member, thank you so much as well. Thank you for joining me. And please do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Alright guys, so after sifting in the flour, after sifting the flour into the bowl, we will set aside. And here, I'm going to measure the sugar for this recipe. So for the flour, we are using 2 kg of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to be adding 300 grams of sugar to this. We don't need this to be too sugary. If you want to really enjoy your chin chin, do not over sugar your chin chin. All right, so pour the sugar into the bowl. And here we have a baking powder. And for this baking powder, a total of the baking powder is 64 grams. And we have uh, four of the sachets inside the pack, which means each sachet contains 16 grams of baking powder so i'm going to be using 16 grams of baking powder and for flavor we are going to go in with some nutmeg black pepper and some cinnamon powder and then i'll go in with salt and i'm going to grab my hand whisk and just whisk everything to combine we need the flavor everything that you added there to combine we need them to you know join together make sure you are not leaving some aside mix this until everything is well combined and then set aside and next we are going to be making or mixing the wet ingredients so into my cup i'm gonna break in two eggs and for this recipe i'm using two eggs and also i'm gonna be adding some milk and for my milk, I'm using pig milk and uh, you can use powdered milk or any milk that you have at home. So I'm going to measure one cup of the pig milk into the cup and then I will measure two cups of water into the cup. So just follow the measurement and you will end up with the right texture, the right taste, the right flavor of chin chin. We need this chin chin to be crunchy you know soft crunchy not the hard crunchy you don't want to break your teeth while biting your your chin chin all right so you want to grab your hand whisk and whisk all of that combined and set aside next we are going to measure some margarine and this is room temperature soft margarine so i'm going to be using 350 grams of margarine so once that is nicely measured we will add it to the dry ingredients and now i'm gonna come in with my hand and just mix this don't worry my hand is super clean so you want to make sure you mix this nicely because you're mixing butter into the dry ingredients so make sure this is well mixed you know together with the dry ingredient make sure they are nicely distributed nicely mixed in nicely you just want to mix this and make sure that every of the dry ingredient have their own share of the butter so mix until everything is well combined in this world will be okay. all right so once that is nicely mixed in next we are going to pour in the wet ingredient so pour that in and next you want to come in with your hand and mix this you know when it comes to chin chin you do not want the dough to be overly soft or overly hard we don't need it to be too hard or too soft you just need it to be perfect you need a perfect dough to achieve the perfect chin chin for my chin chin i always like the chin chin to be you know soft crunchy not that hard crunchy you don't want to break your teeth while biting your chin chin so 
I love to enjoy my chin chin. Once I put it in my mouth, I love it to melt in there without stressing myself to chew it or to break into that chin chin. So you need the texture of your dough to be perfect. And to achieve that, all you need to do is follow up the measurement that I will list in the description box and also on your screen. So as you're watching, make sure to focus on your screen because every ingredient that I will bring out or present to you, I will make sure I put the, the measurements on beside it. All right, guys, so you want to transfer the dough onto a work surface. Make sure it's a clean work surface. And now you want to knead this. Knead for about five to six minutes. You want to make sure there are no dry ingredients left. So mix or knead this until the dough is smooth. You want to make sure that it's very, very smooth and beautiful. So if you're watched to this point and you're still watching, thank you so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. So relax, keep watching to the end, just watch the end of the video and I promise you, you will definitely enjoy and benefit from the result. Alright, so once that is nicely kneaded and once the dough is nicely smooth, we are going to cut this into four equal parts and to the other side, we'll just cover with a plastic wrap or you can cover with a kitchen towel and now grab one of the dough and we are just going to roll this out grab your rolling pin and flatten the dough just like you're seeing on your screen and once that is nicely flattened i'm going to trim out the edges just like you're seeing on your screen right now and once that is done guys this is the texture i am going for we need the dough to be like this not too flat and not too thick and once that is done, we are going to slice. So you want to thinly slice this. So just go for any size of your choice. Go for any shape and size of your choice when it comes to chin chin. So we are going to slice this and then we will cut into cubes. When it comes to slicing, you don't need to be professional. You don't need to be perfect. So just slice, slice. You can use a knife to slice this or grab yourself a pizza cutter and slice and once we are done slicing we will just cut into cubes you can go for a longer one or a shorter one for me i don't want it to be too long and i don't want it to be too short everything in this world will be okay can we be together right so after cutting i do not like to add too much flour to this i just like to just sprinkle a little bit of flour to it just to help me pull them up from the work surface and you can transfer this to a bowl or a tray and just make sure to slightly flat the, the bowl or the tray you're going to transfer the cut dough into and then you want to go ahead and repeat until you're done with everything so if you're planning on starting a small scale business or you want to make this for parties, you want to make this for the house or you just want to make and keep at home for just eating. So this is a perfect recipe that you can grab because number one is not too sugary. Number two is filled with flavor. You know, this is loaded with flavor and also you will enjoy the texture, the taste, everything. It's not hard to chew. This is very, very soft, crunchy, and I promise you will definitely enjoy it. All right, so you want to make sure your oil is preheated once you're cutting the chin chin. And for me, my oil is already on the heat, so just test the oil with a toothpick, or you can drop one of the dough into the oil. And once the oil is ready, go ahead and transfer the chin chin. And now you want to fry this on medium heat number one do not fry this on high heat once the oil is nice and super hot transfer your chin chin and do not fry this on high heat go and fry this on medium heat don't fry on low heat otherwise your chin chin will soak in oil and that's not what you want for this beautiful chin chin so if you fry on high heat you can end up with a burnt chin chin so just make sure your heat is on medium so we're gonna stir this constantly maybe come back every 40 seconds to stir 
and as you stir you can stir in the chin chin while frying will ensure that the chin chin comes out super crunchy like you know keep them very very dry for you to enjoy so make sure to come back every 40 seconds or 30 seconds to stir your chin chin another thing this is to help not overcrowd the oil make sure there are space for the chin chin to breathe all right guys so this is it our chin chin is ready looking so beautiful and this is the 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 color that you want for your chin chin so very beautiful color so once they are ready you want to transfer to a paper towel what i did was to just you know line my strainer with a paper towel and now transfer the chin chin on the paper towel this is going to help absorb any excess oil on the chin chin so once that is done you just want to let them sit on that paper towel for like 30 to 40 seconds and then you're going to transfer to a flat surface something like a tray a flat surface you can spread something on the floor and just pour it on that thing and allow them to air dry or you can grab a tray just like this one then pour your chin chin and allow them to air dry allow them to cool completely before you can package this so if you're planning on you know starting a small scale business with this allow this to cool completely before you package it all right guys so this is it our chin chin is ready so for the 2 kg i got uh two almost three of this bowl yes almost three of this bowl like it was the half the it was two and a half and the half was almost full so that's a lot of gain if you're planning on making business with this it's a lot of gain you don't need too much of you know this is just a pocket friendly business that you can start wherever you are so try to make something out of it and you don't need to spend too much you just need a small capital to start up with this and guys i tell you the texture of this chin chin the taste everything mwah, is super delicious all right guys so let me know in the comment section how much will you say this if you are to make this thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this simple recipe if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next video enjoy